what are you going to have? I'll just explain. This is for uh, both of you and um, for the children watching in their classrooms. It's a short quiz, eight questions. It's an epic adventure quiz. Um, <laughs> we're going to have um, a few questions. A couple of questions are going to be just me talking to you like this. We're going to have a couple of questions wherever you've shown an image. And then at the end, you'll be played a bit of music and you have to identify what epic adventure film the music comes from at the end. So it's pretty, pretty exciting for that. So in order to answer, what you're going to do is you have to make a buzzer sound uh, because that, I, that's all I can do. So Jennifer, can I hear your buzzer sound, please? <clears throat> very, very good buzzer sound, an archetypal <laughs> buzzer sound there. Michelle, can we hear your buzzer sound, please? <clears throat> that's, that's pretty good. Slightly different pitch there, so that's good. It's easy to sort of get between the two. <laughs> okay. So basically what we're going to do is I'll ask the question. If you know the answer, the first person who makes their buzzer sound, it goes oh, to God. them. <laughs> uh, and I will then, uh, we're going to wait a tiny little bit so that any children watching can sort of catch up if they can. Then I'll reveal the answer and then we'll we're, we're score it accordingly. Or maybe not. We'll see how we go. We're playing for fun, really, so don't, don't worry about Zero. it. Zero. Okay, everybody. So, Michelle and Jennifer, are you ready? Ready. Yeah. Children watching, I hope you're ready for Mr. Dilly's very short but epic adventure quiz. Here we go. Question one. Get ready with those buzzers, please, <laughs> Jennifer and Michelle. Here we go. <clears throat> Which classic fantasy adventure by J.M. Barry describes a magical fantasy world where a boy can fly and never grow up? <clears throat> oh, Michelle, they're straight into it. So anybody watching, can you guess that? I'll repeat that question while Michelle holds on to that. Which classic fantasy adventure by J.M. Barry describes a magical fantasy world where a boy can fly and never grow up? Michelle, what is the answer, please? Peter Pan. It is Peter Pan. Well done. Well done, Michelle. Straight in there. Okay, here we go. Come on, Jennifer. All is not lost. All is not lost. Here we go. Question two. Question two. And remember, buzz, and then hold on to your answers here. Here we go. Ready, kids? Here we go. What is the title of the second book in the His Dark Materials trilogy by Philip Pullman? Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. So, um, I know the answer. I think, you know? I, might, I think I might know. But okay, I'm not so I'm going to repeat the question for those watching, and then we're going to go to Jennifer. Okay, what is the title of the second book in the His Dark Materials trilogy by Philip Pullman? Jennifer, do we know? Is it The Subtle Knife? It is The Subtle Knife. Well yes. done, well done, well done. So Thank we have you. one more. Now we're going to go to a, a picture. So uh, mm -hmm. a picture, please. So... Picture three, here we go. Hope you can still hear me. Here's the question. Can you please tell me, what is the name of the villain who made this object in the fires of Mount Ooh. Doom? Is that, is that Michelle? Is that Michelle? Yes. Or is Michelle? Okay, I'll just repeat the question. Okay. Right, as I said, we're quite topical. What is the name of the villain who made this object in the fires of Mount Doom? Michelle, what is it, please? Sauron. It is the Sauron, Lord. the lovely Sauron. What a lovely man he is. Yeah, so, wonderful. well done there. Okay, here we go. Another question, uh, number four. Okay. Now, Jennifer, I, I've seen the links to some of this on your website, so I'm hoping mm -hmm. this should be an easy one for you, but here we go. Who does this weapon belong to? <laughs> oh, Jennifer. <laughs> yes, wait there. I'll read it again. Who does this weapon belong to? <clears throat> Obviously, a different colored weapon, but who does this one belong to? Jennifer, what is it? I'm going to go with Darth Vader. It is Darth Vader. Oh, well done, well done, well done, well done. So we have two each at the moment. It's, it's, it's head to head. Oh. You're doing great. Very proud of you both. Very good. <laughs> okay. Question five. So these are just um, straight questions. Here we go. Hope you're doing well in your classrooms and, and enjoying it so far. So question five. So over halfway. What is the title of the third book in the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling? Uh. Any idea? I've read it, but I can't remember it. Uh... What is the title of the third book in the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling? I'm going to give you a countdown. Three, <laughs> two, one. Doo -doo 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 -doo, whatever that <laughs> noise is. Okay, children. Okay, did you know that one? Okay. And you're going to pinch yourself, both of you. Okay. The title of the third book uh, in the Harry Potter series is The Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh, okay. The Prisoner of Azkaban. So well done there. Still right. on even, even footing. Here we go. Uh, another question before we get into our last two, uh, which are the uh, the movie themes, uh, mm -hmm. epic adventure movie themes. So last one, here we go. Which classic transport-related adventure by E. Nesbitt features three children who are sent to live in a small house in the country? 
Oh, <laughs> Michelle, I, I'll just I'll just get to the question there. Very good. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. I'll just read that again. Which classic transport-related adventure by E. Nesbitt features three children who are sent to live in a small house in the country after their father disappears? I think Michelle, that was that was that was you. So, what was the book, please? The Railway Children. It is indeed the yeah. Railway Children. Well done, Sorry, well done, well done. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to play you both and everybody watching a um a epic adventure hero theme, and see later. if you can tell me what movie this is. From here we go. Oh, any buzzer? Any buzzer? Yeah, I buzzed. Yeah. You buzz. Okay, buzz as Jennifer. Well, what is uh, well, what classic superhero theme is that from, Jennifer? I think it's Superman. It is Superman, the original Superman, Mr. Christopher Reeve, of course, way back when. <laughs> Round of applause, Jennifer. Okay, Thank you. so. So here we have, this is like, oh, this could be a draw or we could, we could be pitched to the post. So the last one, what 1980s classic family adventure movie theme is this from? Oh, who was that? I, I didn't hear the buzzer. I buzz as well, Michelle. I did while it was playing. I don't know. Yeah, if, same. Yeah, well. I'll okay, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I might, you, might share Jennifer. the point here because this is a beautiful thing here. If you can both say it, so I'll give you a countdown on a one, okay. two, three, and then we just reveal the answer. Okay, here we go. Okay. One, two, three. Here we go. E.T. E well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> as, uh, as Bruce Forsyth would say a long time ago, didn't they do well? Didn't they do well? <laughs> 